The comparison view shows the currently selected measurement together with the reference measurement. At the top of the window, there is a navigation panel where you can select the current and reference measurements. It only shows you the combinations of the entries that have had at least one measurement made. On the left side of the comparison view, there is a list of controls that affects only the comparison view. By clicking on the New Measurement button, you will start a new measurement. You can select a measurement by clicking on the Select Current Measurement button. Select a project, visit, subject, test, and repetition for which you want to see the data. To select a reference measurement, click the Select Reference Measurement button. Select a project, visit, subject, test, and repetition for which you want to see the data. In case a measurement contains two videos, there is an option to switch between those two videos by clicking on the Change Video button. In the center of the comparison view, there are various ways of showing the data for current and reference measurements which depends on the configured devices and acquisition settings. The graph represents the signals acquired with the force plates. The signals for the current measurement are plotted with a solid line, while signals for the reference measurement are plotted with a dashed line. You can switch between the signals and COP view. There are some toolbox functions that help the user to easily manipulate the data. By clicking on the Legend button, you will get a legend on the graph that shows which color represents the signal. By clicking on the Synchronization cursor, you will get a list of the cursors that can be set as the synchronization point between the current and reference measurement. In case of a measurement containing a video, there is an option to show the video cursor. When moving the video cursor on the graph, the corresponding video frame will be shown and vice versa. The table contains all the calculated parameters that are divided into different groups. The first column contains the parameters of the current measurement. The second column contains the parameters of the reference measurement. And the third one contains the difference between the current and reference measurement. The results from the table can be exported by clicking on the Export Table button. Coloring options allows you to highlight the cells or an entire repetition in the table depending on the parameters you select. Two options for highlighting the parameters are available and can be used separately or 
both at the same time. You can define which sets of the data analysis parameters are displayed in the table. These options are accessed by clicking on the Filter Visible Parameters button, where you can select between the predefined parameter views or create your own by selecting Manage. A more detailed description of the parameters can be accessed by left-clicking on the parameter's name. The video will be shown if a camera was configured when the measurement was acquired. Below the videos, you have some basic controls for manipulating the video, such as start, stop, skip forward, skip backwards, etc. You can export the current image of the video by clicking on the Export Image button. You can flip the image over a vertical axis by selecting Flip Image. The bars at the bottom of the videos represent the distribution of vertical force between the left and right plate. This is shown only in cases when a measurement was acquired with two plates. Force vector overlay is shown when acquired with a 3D plate and calibrated.